What is up, everybody? It is Wick here, and I'm currently at a Walmart, and I'm looking for clearance. Doing some retail arbitrage, trying to find stuff at a low price and selling it at a higher price. I'm gonna sell this stuff on eBay, Amazon, FBA, Macari, uh, wherever, even locally, Facebook Marketplace. It's getting harder to sell this stuff on Amazon. It's not like it was 10 years ago when I started doing this. You could just go through and buy all these different brands, flip them on Amazon for incredible profits. But I get asked a lot if I'm still doing retail arbitrage, if it's still profitable, if it's dead. And it's not dead, it's just changed. You have to look at it a different way, approach it a different way. There's some 90% off clearance at Walmart still there. Uh, no one bought, not interested in that. Of course, I bought lots of Christmas stuff in the past and sold it. Christmas stuff can be great, especially the inflatables. A lot of these prices at Walmart are just a little too high to make any money on. You can always scan that stuff with the Walmart app. A lot of times the price tags are wrong and stuff is lower. But here I got some camouflage stuff. I'm actually buying some clothing. I'm going to make some money on that. Of course, I'll talk about it, all my finds at the end of the video. And I'm at Home Depot now. A lot of opportunities in Home Depot and Lowe's. Some of these hardware stores. You can find some really good deals, really good clearance. And I see some of these master locks and I'm like, are they cheap enough? And I see some more up here. $8.82 marked down from $34. That's a good pickup. I've already sold all those and made some money. Here we are looking at another Walmart clearance aisle. And you can see some of these items are marked pretty low. Some of this stuff you could buy, do some lots on like this anti wrinkle cream. It looks like. Uh, some of it I looked up and I thought, you know what, maybe I can make a little bit of money. Some of it was expired or getting ready to expire. When it's like that, I usually don't want to mess with it because you got to sell it pretty quick. Uh, so yeah, I ended up leaving that stuff behind, but yeah, creams and, and shampoos and stuff like that, clearance from Walmart. I've made a lot of money on that kind of stuff. So I always want to check it out and consider it at least. Move on to a Meyer store. I don't do a lot of clearance shopping here anymore, but popped in there to grab some of these totes and uh, found some of these Nerf guns cheap in the toy department. Gonna be able to make some money on those. Yeah, Meyer stores, if you got any close to you, they're not everywhere in the country. I think mostly in like the Midwest, but they have some good clearance from time to time. A lot of times stuff will be like 50, 75% off. Then they'll put up another sign that says take an additional 50, 75% off of the already marked price. And that's when you really score. I mean, I've pulled five, six carts filled with toys in the past out to sell on Amazon. Again, it's not easy to sell some of this stuff on Amazon nowadays, especially Nerf. It's all restricted brands. There's some really discounted filters that just weren't quite good enough. So you just got to you know, look for what you can sell. Just because you can't sell it on Amazon, you can sell it on eBay. Uh, even if you can't sell on eBay, there's Macari, there's Facebook Marketplace. I suggest using every selling platform available because every product sells differently on those platforms. And, you know, it just opens your, your opportunities up. So, yeah, a lot of toys here. Just not marked down low enough or, you know, something that's going to be valuable for me to buy and sell. A lot of this stuff gets heavily saturated. A lot of it people don't buy online. Like these lower end fishing poles. You know, most people won't buy that stuff online. So we're at another Home Depot here. Checking out the deals. And there's some decent stuff here. Marked down. Prices are kind of low. So I'm doing scanning. Checking with my Amazon seller app. Checking the eBay sold comps. Trying to figure out what's profitable. And faucets. I've made so many fa so much money off faucets in the past decade is crazy. Here are some Kohler uh, kitchen faucets it looks like, and they were twenty eight dollars marked down from uh, over a hundred. Couldn't read the tag there, uh, but ended up getting a few of these. And I, I know recently I picked up some more. Uh, a lot of these went lower in price. If you know the price isn't low enough, keep checking back because Home Depot and Lowe's they rapidly decrease clearance prices uh, sometimes Home Depot they'll go to a penny once they go to a penny uh, they're supposed to remove them and not selling to you but sometimes you can find stuff take it to self-checkout and get it for a penny I've done that before that's just very easy money when you get stuff like this for a penny 
but uh, over here, here's where you can sell some stuff probably on Facebook Marketplace. Some of these like five gallon buckets of um, stain, like wood deck stain and stuff like that. Really low prices, not something you'd ever want to ship. Uh, looks like $55 marked down from, I don't know, like 175, 35 marked down from 100 plus. People need that stuff. You know, buy it, sell it on Marketplace, mark it up maybe 50%, make some quick profit. Over on this in cap, I'm seeing some low prices. I like when I see things priced 100 plus dollars and they're marked down 75% or more. That's when the opportunities open up. Just because they're marked low doesn't mean you can make money on them though. Always do the research, make sure this stuff's selling. Hampton Bay Solar Lights. Again, all this stuff marks 75% off or more and uh, there's some opportunity here so i ended up buying this stuff and when you do this you learn to be picky on a lot of it um, you can see i got a cart full of stuff there going to be some good profit in that i've sold a lot of those solar lights over the years uh, the store is clearing some about every year and uh, some of the certain sets see what happens is people buy those and then they want more because theirs gets damaged or they want to add and that style's been clearanced out so the only place they can buy them is to go online and buy them from you so people still want that stuff oh we are at a lowe's now checking out this back aisle uh they got some new system where they're putting everything in the back aisle and they're calling it um the back aisle i guess is what they're calling it they got the sign up there i prefer the clearance just be spread out all over the store honestly because it makes it harder for just random people to see it and buy it i like to go up and down every aisle because some clearance don't make it to these back walls these in caps and yeah that's if if everything's in one area and people are looking for clearance they can buy it and it's just gone very quickly more people see it some of those project source lighting is pretty good price just not something that's selling very good even though some sets do i've sold them before um, but yeah, we got some decent profit here. Let me show you everything I picked up today and show you what I'm making money on. Let's go over this clearance stuff that I've picked up. I got some camouflage stuff here. Some pants, real tree jackets. These came from Walmart and I think I paid about $5 a piece for the pants, like $12 for the jackets. The jackets I'll be able to sell, it looks like for about $50 plus shipping. The pants for about $20 it looks like. So there's some profit here, brand new, they're gonna be pretty easy to list i don't like to list a lot of clothing used but since these are new i can just flip them really quick i think well i don't know how quick it's going to be because like always a lot of people are buying these to sell um walmarts are all over the country people are buying this clearance trying to flip it so you know i probably actually won't be able to sell these until next year but even if i have to price them lower i'm still going to make money because i got them at such a great price so i got a bunch of these hampton bay solar lights outdoor lights i've done well on these in the past it seems like every year home depot lows clearance out this kind of stuff it really just depends on the amazon listing and how well it's matured how many reviews it's got if it's popular uh otherwise it doesn't sell that great you can flip some of the stuff on ebay i think most of this stuff was at least 75 percent off and I picked out the stuff that was on Amazon because I'm looking for a more easy flip on this stuff. I believe I paid uh, around $300 for this stuff, so I'm at least going to double my money on it. I think I'm going to make a little bit more on some of the items. Like these were like $6. I think they were selling for about $28 on Amazon. I ended up leaving some of it there because it wasn't really on Amazon and it wasn't really selling on eBay. Didn't want to deal with it. I might go back and get it. I don't know. I just, you know, I don't like to store this stuff for too long. I got a lot of stuff in storage as it is. But between all of this stuff, you know, it's going to be at least $300 profit. Probably more like $350, $375 in the end. I also picked up these at Home Depot. These Hampton Bay little four LED light surface mount thingies. I think I paid $33 a piece for them. They were selling on Amazon. Uh, pretty good. I think I was going to make about $50 minimum profit if I sell them right now. Might be able to wait and sell them later for a better price of course this is a retail arbitrage video i have to mention it prices dip very low on this clearance because so many people are buying it trying to sell it they compete for the low price and they just keep driving the price down and then eventually it goes back up to full price and that's when i sell my stuff so i don't mind holding it 
you know, for a year or more. To me, it's just part of the game. Of course, I like a fast flip. Some items I'll be able to flip fast. It just depends. But if you're planning on going out and buying clearance, just keep in mind that the price is going to dip. You'll check it. You'll get it home and probably within a few hours, a lot of this stuff that you buy is going to, just going to tank in price just within a few hours. Just picked up these at Home Depot, just some outdoor lights. Kind of like them. Um, I've been wanting to replace my, you know, I keep saying when I find something like this, I want to replace my outdoor lights. So maybe I'll keep them. You know what? I probably got six different lights now like this that I just have in storage where I'm just kind of saving them because I'm going to replace my outdoor lights. I just don't know which ones I'm replacing yet. Eventually I'll choose and then sell all of them I got. But I think these were selling for about $50. I paid, oh, I think it was only like $8 for those. Got some of these master locks. Uh, I think they were about $8 or something. The key code is the same for all of them, which is good because that means I can put two together, use keywords like key to like. People look for these that have the same key code because they need multiples and they don't want to have to have, you know, two separate keys for each set of locks. Now, if you watch the channel, you know, I've probably mentioned probably about three or four years ago, I made about five, six thousand dollars profit on some master locks. I got so many of them and uh, yeah, I was flipping them, making great profit. Unfortunately, I don't have enough master locks to make that kind of money here, but I think in the end, I'm making about $15 profit at least on those. So there is a lot of cleaning supplies, like really cheap, like 50 cents for these. I think these were normally six or seven dollars. These perfect sinks. Got some of this rejuvenate here. I think it was a dollar marked down from like eight or nine dollars. No, I just grabbed them for personal use because cleaning can be expensive sometimes. But I have sold this kind of stuff in the past, um, especially stuff like this. You can find find a bunch of them, do lots of two or three of them, save on shipping, make some money. But those are just for myself. So I figured I'd throw these in. These actually came from Best Buy. Uh, I got them for $79. They're Acer Chromebooks. Uh, I think the retail was about $250 on them originally. Got a couple of these. Uh, I think I'm going to make, you know, minimum $50 profit on them. If I still have them around Christmas, I can probably make a bit more than that. I've done very well with Best Buy stuff. One time I got a bunch of Sony um, headphones, <laughs> really cheap. Sold through those, made some good profit. Well, I just noticed I have these magic cards sitting here. These did not come from <laughs> retail arbitrage. I just got these in the mail and had them sitting here. Um, if you're curious, I do some investing in magic cards. These are just going to go into my <laughs> magic bin and um, in a few years, hopefully double up my money on those. Below it here, we got some faucets. Uh, what did I pay for this? Like $40. I think I was making about $50, $60 profit on that. I got three of these Kohler laundry faucets. These were only $22 or $28. I don't remember exactly. I think the price they're listed at right now, I was making at least $50 a piece on those. It's possible all these faucets go up in value and I make more money than $50 a piece. But for now, we just have to make $50 a piece, $200 there in faucets. I picked up these Nerf rival guns at a Meyer store. It's been a while since I found any clearance at Meyer. I don't go a lot though. So to be fair anymore. Well, these are like $6 and something. I'm pretty much going to double my money on these right now. Again, this is something I'm probably just going to be storing until around Christmas time when the price goes up. The thing about buying Nerf guns, new and sealed, and like things like Lego, or even the Magic cards, new and sealed, uh, they don't go down in value. If you hold that stuff long enough, it always appreciates. I'm sure there's some exceptions, but in general, it appreciates. And uh, I don't know if this Nerf gun is discontinued or not, but the clearance came from Meyer. There's not as many Meyer stores as there are like Walmarts. So I think I'll be able to get a pretty good price quicker on this stuff. This is also something you can lot two, two to four guns in a lot on eBay. Uh, save on shipping and people will buy them because well, people like to have Nerf Wars. Who doesn't like to have Nerf Wars? I think I'll make probably at least $10 profit on these when I go to sell them. So there it is. Still doing retail arbitrage, still finding stuff, still making money. But that's going to do it for the video, everybody. Please hit that like button before you leave. You can find me on Twitter, Instagram, flipping underscore junk. Hit that subscribe button. It means a lot to me. This has been Wick. Until next time.